That's the sound of walls going in there. That's the first layer. Made the cement. Put down these blocks to go over the rebar. And we're working through these red lines here. So if you come over here you can see how accurate the whole thing is. There we go. We got darker. Oh, yeah. Ihan kuin meidän teki. Tää on joku nenäpöä. Se on hyvä. Tuntiaksi me oltiin yli reisus ja eilen ei oltu kun se vajaa 13 tuntia. Niin se tota, siinä saatiin sysmässäkin tehtyä pirulauspohjat, jos se valehtuu, niin meni kyllä nekin hyvin. Mutta on nyt jotain saa. So this is some insulation to keep the sauna floor warm so the cold doesn't get too in the winter time. And this is called Patalevo, Levu, which is uh, again to stop dampness getting through into the sauna. And around about here is some sort of felt around about the pillars which stops the water getting into the pillars and creeping up and getting to the wood hey, and the carbon. So that's it. And the sand should be coming up Also up the hill there. All that noise in here. Styrox gets put down as well. So, all these pillars have been treated. So there's no chance of water climbing up there from underneath. So. And he said that perhaps on Wednesday they'll come and put the building up. I can't believe that it's ready. This is the Rota Pro. It's uh, for stopping this. The earth moves during the winter because of water and freezing and you have to put in some styrofoam. This is what do you call it? Styroplast. And they're about five centimeters in thickness. And they have to put in three layers, so 15 centimeters of this uh, rota 
There is the. So they'll be doing that on Monday. So that's the foundations from up on this big rock that I'm standing on. And for about two meters around about the foundations, I have to clean up this, take all that spare wood away that's just lying there, all those little bits over there, for example. Pick all that up, clean it all up round about the edge so that there's no wood underneath it. All that wood over there underneath that tree. Take that away. And uh, then we'll be coming and filling uh, this up to almost the top of that, uh, what do you call it, bitumen uh, felt with sand and then on top of that the carbon will be put in. Lassie said that they'd be doing it on Monday or Wednesday so how can they do that? How can it have been done so quickly? Well, if it put it in it'll be great before the winter comes. But that's it. So I better get on with this work and uh, start cleaning up all this stuff around about it. This stuff is called huapa or felt. I suppose it's tar felt. Usually the stuff that you put on roofs. But it's going round about these pillars. Stuck on with some bitumen. So that it doesn't come off. And then this has been uh, they called it slam house. Where you throw the the cement against the pillar to cement it so it seals it in as well. So there's been a lot of work done also along here there's been this slam house. What do you call it? Plastering? I suppose that can be painted right about here. And then inside the it'll come up about, I should say about 50-60 centimetres of sand in here keeping that pipe in or it may be even more because the floor has to go in the cement floor for the sauna but that's it so that pato here it is here this is pato radon radon Kaistissa radon suojuksen ja sokkelin veden eristyksen. That uh, this radon gas, you have to protect yourself from it. Apparently, there's quite a lot of it comes out of the ground, and it also uh, veden eristyksen is the uh, water protection, so that the uh, water doesn't get into the foundations or up as well. So that's what that butter is. Has two functions to protect you from radon gas and also uh, water seeping in. That old building over there has been standing now for 60 years. It was built by Maya's father, and in the sauna, the water just ran through the drainage into the rocks underneath the house and that was it you didn't have to bother about any drainage systems but with all these new regulations that come in you have to have a special pipe running down there and uh, this is where it will be coming out here and the pipe will originally it was supposed to be going down here, down this track. The man with the digger came and he dug out this ditch like that. 
and uh, this was the hole away down here which was supposed to be for putting in the salmon parlor or it's it's a what do you call it a, a filtration system for the water that's coming out of the sauna but when you measure from this hole to the lake it's not uh, 15 meters and the engineer said no this hole cannot be here you cannot put the sauna parlor in here it's got to be more than 15 meters away from the lake shore so it will have to go up here along this ditch and most likely be round about this place here but uh, looks like it's good sand and easy to to dig into the other places down in there you can see there's rocks so it might not be so difficult so I expect that round about here will be the place where the sauna parlor goes in so these are all the rules and regulations that you have to follow and every single thing that's happening here during the build there's this someone called Vastava Mestri a responsible master who comes uh, uh, along and, and checks the foundations, how it's gone in, uh, how thick they are, uh, how this part of Levu. Uh, we thought that 10 centimeters of that rolled up there would have been enough. No, you've got about 15 centimeters. So that's more expense. And so in the olden days you just, you built your cabin and that was it and it lasts for 60 years and now you have to meet all the regulations and make sure you do everything right and then perhaps they'll let you build a cabin so, but it's good because you know it's getting done right and somebody's keeping a check on it so that's it and there we have the Karpas Sieni I think it's Fly Algeric this is the mushroom that the Berserks ate made them go crazy when they were in battle and they, what they used to do is that they would eat this stuff this mushroom and uh, then they would allow their kidneys to purify the hallucinogenic content in it and they collected their pee and they drank their pee and then it was a much more potent potion which they drank before they went into battle so they're all over the place here hallucinogenic mushrooms am I hallucinating or are we really building that cabin over there it just almost feels like it's a dream <laughs>